Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so for this video, I want to go over another new product that we have. Um, we've been wanting to work on improving on the RGB options that are out there. Um, I think Profile is pretty much it. Uh, there are some other Oracle and things like that, um, but I don't think any of the kits were really quite uh, what I wanted as a builder, uh, what I wanted to work with. So we got our first kit out, which was focused mainly on getting the halos to look good uh, with a nice diffusion. Uh, many of you have tried them. They've been on the website for a while now. Uh, I think we got that right. We got that good. Uh, the biggest issues that we were seeing was uh, drivers. Uh, people weren't using them. I literally had people that were contacting me saying, I'm having issues. I can't figure this out. You know, after a lot of time back and forth trying to figure out what's going on you end up realizing they're not even using the driver it's just sitting in the box somewhere and they're plugging directly like nah okay well we got to figure this out so back to the drawing board tweaking the design a little bit and this is what we came up with one box both drivers and the controller are in one box uh, trying to make it as simple as possible uh, remove uh, human error from the equation uh, what this also allows us to do is one run uh, one ground uh, so previously profile has this issue uh, our old design had this issue you had to run a ground from each driver to the chassis uh, that's just a weak point because if you don't get a good ground then your halos will go out faster you have some issues with the driver possibly uh, or the halos won't turn on at all um, and you know it can be difficult to try to find like you know two solid grounds on the car one on each side so we were able to put everything into one controller uh box that way it's it, it is a bigger box but um it is just one uh and from that we do come out to our power and ground which will go directly to the battery uh plenty of wire to go there and they do have ring terminals on them as well as a fuse uh, inline fuse and it is marked as to which is power which is ground um, obviously you're going to make sure you put those in our proper terminals uh, generally I would recommend you put this on the battery directly uh, the battery is your best ground and your best power uh, out of the entire car so go directly to the battery with it you'll have a much better uh, experience uh, if you do have a car that doesn't maybe the battery's in the trunk or something you know I guess you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do but uh, if the battery is right there by your lights go ahead and go directly to the battery Coming out on the other side, we have two plugs. Uh, one is uh, long enough to go to the other side of the car. So if you're, let's say your battery is on the driver's side, uh, this would be your passenger side plug. So whatever the opposite side is from the battery. Uh, from there, we do have waterproof connectors now. Um, JSTs getting water in them is somewhat a common issue. Uh, dielectric grease is a good workaround for that, uh, but an even better workaround is waterproof plugs. Being that we are making these system, these uh, new RGB lineup to be more of a all-in-one system rather than a piece-by-piece -piece system, uh, like a lot of other companies are doing, uh, we can kind of just go our own direction and do what we want to do. We didn't have to worry about using standardized plugs or using anything like that because this is an all-in-one system. Everything you need is here. You don't have to buy anything. Um, so one of the things that we did was to add those waterproof plugs. Uh, for those of you that have used our style waterproof plugs for addressable and things like that, uh, which we do sell by the pair, uh, this is the same style plug. These are just four pin, um, which conveniently enough we don't actually sell on the site but uh, we do in the form of RGB if you want them. Uh, very simple there's arrows on it to show you how to line up where it goes what it's kind of difficult to put these in the wrong way I mean you can if you really really force it but uh, in general um, they don't want to go in unless you get them the right way and there are arrows on the little handles here so you know exactly where it goes and it screws shut and that is a watertight seal. In addition to that, we do have a turn signal for the far side uh, signal wire. That way you can tap this in. On that side, everything is contained within the braided sleeving to keep things nice and clean um, for install. But uh, you will still have that turn signal wire on the far side. 
Following that, you do have as well, we added a cable gland. So that way, uh, if you're just doing a single halo in a build, all you gotta do is drill one hole, run your cable gland into that hole, and uh, you got a watertight seal. So super simple install. Um, uh, obviously there's other companies that are using this style of uh, setup with the cable glands on there, and it, it is a great idea. So we wanted to include that ourselves as well. Uh, going from there is into your uh, strips themselves. Uh, so with strips and halos, uh, we're, our plan is to move all of our RGB lineup, including the demon eyes, to something like this structure. Now the demon eyes won't have the, uh, the turn signal and the DRL function, uh, but they will have uh, just a single uh, to eliminate the multiple boxes that you traditionally see where you have a driver on each side and a uh, controller. Um, one thing we have been asked many times is can you get uh, a like a multi-channel controller or can I use you know one controller to control multiple halos? Um, so it's not really feasible. Uh, you know trying to design a system that just works, you kind of have to go in one direction. Being modular, it takes away from the ability to make something unique. Um, so we had to go away from that. But the good news is this controller that we use is still the Magic Light app. And uh, what's really nice about it is that you can sync multiple controllers in the app. So they function like a multi-channel controller. Um, so you could have three channels, four channels, five channels, all synced within the app and control them all either independently or as a collective, control them all together, um, and you have that control within the app. So it does give you the flexibility to have something like that. Yes, if you do have a set of two sets of halos and a set of demon eyes, uh, you will have three of these boxes. Uh, but previously, if you had two sets of halos and a set of demon eyes, you would have nine boxes. So I think three is significantly better. Uh, you know, maybe it's not ideal. Uh, if you're going with a build that big, you know, I definitely recommend addressable. I think it's it's much bigger, much better for big builds. Uh, but if you're looking for a simple halo, if you're looking for RGB, if you're looking for that better diffusion, um, one of the downsides to addressable is the larger LEDs. We do use a very small LED, as you can see in these strips here, uh, which enables it to have a better diffusion. Um, obviously, the halos have a very good diffusion in our RGB lineup. So, um, you know, just, just trying to have multiple options here and trying to innovate uh, what already exists. It seems like that the one of the most popular options out there as far as RGB stuff goes seems like it hasn't changed at all ever since I started doing this stuff, probably like back in 18. I think it's pretty much been the exact same design. We're trying to improve on those designs, trying to make something a little bit better. Um, and I guess this could be version 2, as you'd call it. I'm sure there'll be room in the future to add things to make it even better. Uh, but all right, back to this. So uh, on the strips, for this particular kit, it is with strips. We have 18-inch and 12-inch uh, variants of that, uh, diffused and non-diffused. Um, so you can, with these, you can actually cut them and create a modular setup, depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, let's say you want to do a C-Lite on a uh, WRX or something like that. You can actually use these to create an RGB C-Lite on the WRX. Um, it does have the function of your DRL. Uh, hold on a minute. You do have the function of your DRL. Uh, as you can see, it is a, a clean white um, for your running lights. And switching to our switchbacks. These are not sequential. Being RGB, there is no uh, there is no ability to do flow. Uh, once again, if you want sequential switchbacks, um, we do have sequential switchback strips. Uh, but if you want RGB with sequential, you you really need to go uh, addressable for that. But uh, as far as RGB with the switchback option, uh, we do have that here with these. Uh, and then uh, goes right back to the white. And here is our RGB function itself. Uh, and then once again, yes, on the back side, they are cuttable. Every three LEDs. 
and you can solder them back together to create different shapes or um, if you potentially just want to run a couple rows of strips, gills, something like that, these would work very well for that. Um, the drivers are designed to run with the board, so if you run 18 inch with an 18 inch driver, you can run anything 18 and under, you'll be fine. Uh, you don't ideally really want to go above 18 because you're going to start to overload the driver. Now, it's not like it's going to instantly overload it or something, uh, but just to say within safety, uh, you're going to want to stay with that 18 inches or less. That's why the kits are going to be sold like that. We will not be selling the strips separate. Um, once again, that is available in the uh, 18 inch diffused and non diffused as well as 12 inch diffused and non diffused um, and it does use the magic light app uh, which most of you should be familiar with um, uh, as far as the shorter wire goes it's basically the same thing as the long one it's just shorter still has the braided sleeving still has a waterproof connection this one does have a DRL and a turn signal wire on the uh, the short wire um, so you can tap into your car's DRL. Uh, one thing that we did incorporate in uh, incorporate into this is a uh, a DRL wire that is uh, variable voltage. So um, if you have a car that has a DRL, maybe your high beam is your DRL or your low beam. Uh, most of the time, cars that do that it runs at like half voltage, so about six volts. Uh, we went ahead and designed this to work our drl wire will work on a six volt chart or on a six volt uh, signal so um if you are if you do have a car uh, that does that a lot of subarus do that and your high beam is your drl and you will not have to get like the uh Dodd dynamics uh switchback uh relay or anything like that uh, fortunately we are able to uh, make the six volt work with uh this drl setup so uh, just another thing that we thought about to try to put in there. We got it in there. Um, I, I'm really happy with the outcome of this. Uh, the, the modular design, I mean, the only drawback is that there is spacing between the groupings. Um, if you think about it, unfortunately, uh, being able to cut and solder means that we have to place the LEDs a little bit spaced apart in sections where you can cut. Now we kept them as tight as we could for the rest of it, uh, for the the little sections of three. But uh, you know, if you look at this, there's no way you would ever be able to cut between those sections of three. Uh, we had to create that spacing, so that is a drawback of sorts. But there's nothing else really like it at this point. So you know, I, I guess we just kind of had to go with it with that design. Um, the Diffused version is cuttable as well. Uh, keep in mind that with the diffusion, it does make it a little bit thicker, a little bit harder to cut, so you're going to want to be a little bit more careful. Uh, wire uh, cutters, uh, big heavy-duty ones, seem to do pretty well with these, just as well as uh, they do on our uh, uh, SK addressable diffuse strips and things like that. It's very similar design to that. Um, but yes, definitely cuttable. And solder points in the back. It is four pads on the back side for RGB uh, plus your uh, power. Um, but uh, yes, uh, these are available on the site. And uh, definitely interested to see how you guys like them and if you guys have any ideas for tweaks or modifications that we could make to make them slightly better. Um, in addition to that, we do plan on bringing this new design out for all of our RGB stuff. Currently, there's only a couple things. Uh, right now, it is the strips, and we do have 70 mil halos with that same design uh, with the waterproof plug as well as the cable gland to be able to run it out the back of your light. Um, we are going to be switching everything RGB over to this, so definitely check on the site. It will say if it is the new style or not. You will, you'll be able to see it in the pictures and the description uh, will break down uh, how it's structured. So currently the 80s, the 90s, the gears, the, the angry eyes, those are not yet available in this layout, but it will be soon. So uh, depending on when you watch this video, check the website. It might already be uh, available in those formats. Um, but uh, wanted to get these in, get them checked out 
try to get some of them out there and see how they are doing on the cars. Everybody's enjoying them. Uh, and at that point, you know, we'll go ahead and ramp up, go full scale on it. So, uh, thanks you guys for watching. Hopefully this is something you guys can use. And uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and uh, check out the website, nextlevelneo.com. Thanks.